Hey guys, today is Monday, that means Ashes Bashes, and today I am going to be dedicating this whole uh, episode of Ashes Bashes to a topic that I've kind of become, not necessarily obsessed with, but uh, definitely very intrigued by, which is the Illuminati. Now, um, some people don't think that it exists, they think that it's just a big conspiracy theory or, you know whatever. Um, I personally believe that it does exist. Um, the fact that some people are refusing to acknowledge the fact that there are secret societies out there, including Illuminati, um, are just being naive or are trying to live by the whole saying, um, out of sight, out of mind kind of thing. Um, I think some people are so frightened by the thought of Illuminati existing that they would rather not believe it than to believe it exists and possibly get caught up in all of that chaos. But um, in all honesty, we are all, some directly but mostly indirectly, uh, influenced by the Illuminati. Any media, any, um, essentially anything that we don't have personally have control over, the, Illumina the Illuminati probably has a hand in it somehow or some way. Um, now a lot of people that are going to watch this are going to think that I'm just another one of those Cracker Jacks out there who believes in this crap and they're going to, they're going to be haters. But in all reality, with the world that we live in and the things that we have seen throughout time, to not believe in things like that, it's, it's similar to ghosts and, and kind of the supernatural in, in my eyes. There's a lot of people that don't believe in ghosts, but yet there's been so much proof that essentially shows us that ghosts do exist and people do experience weird encounters and all that kind of stuff. So now we have, you know, people sort of putting proof on the table that Illuminati exists and some of it is very compelling. And I don't know because I haven't watched all of the videos out there yet, I definitely have a very um, biased opinion, I guess, at the moment. But I have done enough research, and I've seen enough videos, and I've just seen enough in day-to-day um, -day media and stuff like that that's always caught my eye. I truly believe that they are around, and yeah, probably do have a big hand in things. And I'm, um, I used to be very big believer in coincidences. However, in the last couple of years, I've begun to realize that coincidences really don't exist. It's either pure luck or it's been sort of a pre... There's a method to the madness to it, essentially. There's, it's either like a pre-planned thing or, you know, somebody has managed to kind of make the situation happen. So there's really no true coincidence because there's always there's always some ulterior reasoning behind why the situation has happened so anyhow um i just thought that i wanted to share or sorry i thought that i would share some of my thoughts about illuminati with you guys and uh, also try and get some discussion going and hey devin saying hi wave say hi devin <laughs> so, um, I wanted to create also some discussion and essentially get more people aware of, you know, Illuminati and what they're about and how, uh, you know, how they go about doing what they do. Uh, I know a lot of it has been, uh, a lot of it has been sort of put on the shoulders of the music industry. Um, that's where a lot of the stories that I have heard of or the videos that I have watched um, are really based on fame and the music industry and how a lot of these artists are essentially, you know, selling their soul to the devil in order to get the fame that they want. Um, and even some artists that we see as almost girl next door types or, you know, fairly innocent types um, who are actually admitting to not being so innocent because fame got to them. And I, I'm i one person that I, 
that used to be really, really driven and determined to make it big in the music industry. Yeah, that was always my dream was to become, you know, a famous singer. But the more I read about Illuminati and the more I research that whole, you know, the whole secret society, the more that I sort of realize that in order to make it big, you do need to sacrifice a lot of your moral values and, um, you know, a lot of your character as just as a human being. A lot of a lot of the singers that are, and this is all he said, she said at the moment. You know, any any of this information that I'm talking about, um, the videos that I've watched and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, it, there's no. 100% guarantee in anything that I've seen because obviously videos can be altered and doctored and stuff like that to make it appear as though these artists have been saying these things out of their mouth, um, but they could have easily been set up. So um, I just wanted to sort of uh, state that disclaimer. So, um, you know, one, one big artist that always comes um, into sort of the forefront when talking about this kind of stuff is Jay-Z. Um, especially because he has the whole, like, the whole whole symbol or whatever, like the diamond, which um, is the one of the main symbols for Illuminati. And a lot of times, they've actually um, shown people holding up the symbol with, and only showing the one eye, which is also an Illuminati symbol. I mean, there's just so much out there that proves that all of this is true, that it's gotten to a point where people that are disbelievers are just either putting on a show and pretending like they don't you know, believe because of some internal struggle they're having with sort of accepting all of this, but it is out there, and we need to be aware that it's out there, and we essentially kind of need to protect ourselves and not get caught up in all of this craziness, because it is kind of crazy that, you know, a secret society is playing God with the world. It's just, I mean, it's a little scary, it definitely is a little sickening and stuff like that, but you know, keep in mind that at the end of the day, you have control and you don't have to, you know, live your life the way that, that they want us to, essentially. And we don't have to, you know, you don't have to listen to the artists that sort of condone that type of, you know, behavior, that type of lifestyle or, or that society, for example. Um, you know, we can choose to listen to music or watch television or, you know, read media and stuff like that that isn't necessarily involved with any type of, you know, um, evil or satanistic uh, tendencies. Um, we can choose not to watch TV or, you know, not to listen to music at all if we, if we really wanted to. So, um, you know, we really need to just create that awareness. So, you know, I would suggest that if you aren't aware of Illuminati, um, you know, go and, and pull some stuff up on YouTube, if anything else. Um, Google as well, obviously, is another great um, resource to use to find information about anything. So just type Illuminati in and, and read about it and just be informed and be aware that you know, something like that is out there, and that it is definitely possible, and not to be, not to be that naive to think that it isn't, because anything is really possible. So, that's my ashes fashes for today, guys. I know it's a little grim and kind of depressing for some people, but I've been watching a lot about it lately. Um, I always kind of been watching stuff about Illuminati, and have been since I was quite young. I think like 13 or so is when I first, um, heard of it back when I um, was first really, really into Tupac, and um, I was one of those believers that um, thought that Tupac was in fact alive, and he was essentially hiding out um, to save his own life, really. And I have a huge belief to this day, as a matter of fact, that the Illuminati played a massive role in Tupac's death, um, as well as many other of my favorite celebrities, uh, Amy Winehouse being another one, so Michael Jackson being a third, 
Um, so, I mean, I could go on and on all day about this kind of stuff. So, um, it's very interesting to me. Um, may not be to all of you, so I do apologize if you guys are like, wow, this girl's crazy. But, I promise you I'm not crazy. I just like to be very knowledgeable, uh, and I, I love to read and, you know, fill my brain with all kinds of information. So, um, yeah, take it or leave it. Do some research. Find out for yourself whether, you know, this is something that you guys believe in, and just be aware. That's all I really ask is just be aware. So, hope you guys have a wonderful Monday, and I will see you tomorrow for emptying the ashtray. Bye-bye.